Welcome back to Server Turf Travel, guys. Hi. <laughs> Today's a beautiful day to talk about the Philippines. Again and Every again. Every day is a beautiful day to talk about the Philippines. In my yeah. opinion, uh, this place in particular, we always try to go to one place in a country that is way off the map like nobody's ever heard. We didn't get super far off the map with this one, but we did go to a place uh, it, we stayed at uh, Makaje's Dive Resort. Is that right? Okay, Makaje's Dive Resort. It was about 40 minutes south of Rojas on Palawan Island. Um, and it's on the east side. Most of the attractions and, and tourist spots are on the west side because that's where the sun sets and that's where there's a lot of nice beaches. Uh, but this one was on the east side. There's just not a lot of defined stuff around. Like there's there's nothing on if you go through like maps me. There's no like points of interest near there. Um, yeah. But yes, it's still beautiful. It still has a lot of beautiful beaches. And seriously. Well, I think that the coolest thing about it was that uh, the resort itself was basically right next to this, I mean, really authentic community of people, fishermen, and farmers, and there was a school, and, uh, you know, I mean, it's just a really, really authentic place with uh, authentic Filipino people. And I thought it was great just touring around and seeing the village and meeting people and seeing how they you know, make the thatched roofs and, uh, just do the crafting, fish for crabs, things like that. I mean, just kind of see them in their day-to-day -day lives. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, if you want to check real Filipino life, go to Rojas. Yeah, go to Rojas, go to uh, Makaje Dive Resort. They don't have the diving set up quite yet when we were there, uh, but they said that there's a ton of reef right off of the East Coast that haven't been explored yet. So they're gonna do some exploring and set up some dive spots. So that should be really cool. There's Macaulay Island that you can visit, uh, which is a huge mangrove island as well as a smaller connected island. And where you can see actually sea cow. Yes, if you go if you go diving, you can see the sea cow, sea cow. which I hadn't even heard of before going to this place. And after having dived as many times as I had, I was surprised that I'd never heard of an animal this cool. Um, but you dream to see it. But now I dream to see it. I'm almost <laughs> nightly. The, uh, the other thing is the sandbar, that like kidney bean looking yeah. sandbar. Uh, that one is super cool. You can spend the day out there just kind of relaxing because they have the they have the little huts out there that yeah. you can spend. No resort, no houses to leave, to stay, mm -hmm. just one day. Or actually, you can stay there on the beach if you want. Yeah, I, I, I'd advise against it because uh, there's a lot of sand flies. And you're, you're out in... Yeah, there's a lot of mosquitoes, a lot of sand flies, so, so bring your uh, mosquito repellent, you know, whatever your choice is. Um, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend sleeping on the beach. There. <laughs> Visit during the day, and uh, after sunset, maybe make your way back to Makaje. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed Rojas. Um, of course, we had, a, we had a great time. Recommend it for a few days, definitely. Yeah. If you're a subscriber, I want to thank you. <laughs> if not, Welcome to Surf and Turf Travel. Uh, check us out on Instagram at Surf and Turf Travel. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon, throw the comments in. We love all that stuff and we want to hear from you guys. And with that, peace out. Today. Today is a beautiful day. <laughs>